Okay, so the materials we need for this uh, DIY craft are very simple. We need some CDs. Uh, these are old CDs that I have. I have taken some CDs. We need a metallic uh, gold uh, glass liner. You can also use the 3D liner. And we need glass colors, uh, both um, water based and solvent based is fine. And some beads, any shape, any size. We just need some beads to decorate our um, sun catcher. And we will need uh, some cellophane tape and also a rope uh, later to tie up the whole thing. And uh, we also need some uh, designs like this. These are very simple uh, mandala designs. You can take a printout or if you are good with free hand, you can just uh, draw them uh, freely. So yeah, let's begin uh, to prep our CD. So first what we need to do is we need to remove the top layer of uh, the CD. For that there is a technique and it's very very easy. So what you do first is... Take something sharp like a blade or something and just scratch on one side just to remove some part of the top layer. We only want the transparent glass, we don't want this top coating that it has. So like I mentioned, sun catchers are generally made on glass but we are using a CD as a DIY. and. Um, and it has to look like a glass. So just remove a little bit of the CD layer. Then what you do is take your cellophane tape and all you're going to do is just put it on that place and pull it. See, it will just come off. It just needs that. So pull it off completely. So now we've removed the top layer from the CD and this is how it will be. It's transparent so this is what we want. Now what we'll do is we will take the printed sheet that we have, we will take that, we will keep the CD on top like this. Like I said, if you are good with drawing, you can straight away draw on the CD or else uh, you can do this. Keep it on top like this and you take your um, 3D liner, this is a 3D gold metallic liner and I am just going to draw over the design. Hold it in the center. Just trace whatever design you see from underneath, just do the outline over it. Make sure you touch it till the edge because we are going to fill these with glass colors and uh, there shouldn't be any gap. If there is a gap, the glass colors will flow into the other area. So make sure there are no gaps.
so that's our design and we leave this to dry it has to dry So we have our CDs here ready to be colored more. Uh, so this is how they look after we've done the gold outliner, glass outliner. So what we will do now is we will go ahead and just fill them with uh, our glass colors. So I'm just going to take different colors here and then we will be filling them. Filling colors is completely up to you, uh, however you want to do the combination you can do. Just make it nice and colorful so when you hang it, the sun rays, the sunlight will reflect through them beautifully. If bubbles are formed, it's very easy, all you have to do is uh, take a pin or something and just pop them like that you can just take a pin and pop the bubbles I'm just giving like two colors here just for a nicer effect so the reason earlier I said that when you do the outline it has to be end to end there should not be any gap is because if there are any gaps it will flow out so that's the reason we need to be careful to not leave any gaps you can even mix two colors and give some shading so that looks really nice with glass colors when you put two colors and mix them together you'll get a nice uh, shaded effect so yeah that's what I've done here I just put a light yellow and with a tinge of orange for these petals here This looks really beautiful. So even from the other side, they'll shine. I haven't given any border at the end, but the CDs themselves have like slightly raised ends, edges, so that's easy for us to color in. It's a very uh, simple project but uh, you will see how beautiful um, it will turn your space into or uh, how nicely the sun rays come through and reflect. You can even sit and do it with your kids. They will love to color I'm sure. Plan it like an activity to do with your kids. 
that looks beautiful look at that so we'll keep this aside and we'll take the next CD So that's it. See how pretty this looks. It's really beautiful. So we leave this to dry and once it dries I'm going to just uh, uh, make some holes here uh, so that we can tie it. Uh, since this plastic uh, I can just heat some rod and make some holes here. I don't, I don't have the puncher. So I'll make holes with some plastic, um, I mean with a rod, I heat it and punch it. So yeah, let this, I am leaving this to dry and then we will come back. So here we have a beautiful CD mandala art you could call it or the glass painting. Um, these we will be converting them to uh, pretty sun catchers now. They look really gorgeous. I love it. If you want, you can beautify them more. Um, say using some stones like these, if you want. But I'm not going to do it today. Yeah, I mean, this, it's pretty much up to you. Uh, whatever way you want to decorate these discs, you can. It just have to look colorful and beautiful when you hang them. So that's about it. So what I have done here is, if you see, I have made uh, small holes on two sides of the CD. I used a thin uh, rod, like if you have a little fatter needle, just heat it and uh, pierce through because it's plastic so it will make a hole. And I am going to use this wire to string my beads onto this. You can use uh, normal twine or rope or anything, uh, no harm. So now we will just go ahead and string some beads. Uh, that again, um, I, just, I just have some beads from my stash. So I am just going to randomly string them. So here we have our absolutely gorgeous, beautiful dream catcher. Look at how pretty and colorful this is. 
you can use any kinds of uh, bead glass beads will reflect uh, the light as well and I have just added some bells here so that when there is breeze or wind and then it will move and it will give that nice sound it's a wonderful decor piece for your balcony near the window wherever you think there's some breeze do try this out this is very easy but absolutely beautiful uh, DIY